Hey there, CPO here, and today I'm going to install this Justice Off-Road Molly Tailgate Panel. This is a mil-spec uh, PALS and Molly compatible panel, triple stitched, made right here in the good old US of A, and it shows in the quality. Uh, this is a pretty solid piece of kit. It comes with a riv nut set, and Danny over at Justice Off Road made a conscious decision to use rib nuts for installation because they hold up longer term better than the screws, which tend to work out. It also comes with a little rib nut tool to help you install. The manual is very comprehensive. Uh, actually, you can tell he spent some time uh, writing out the instructions for this, so that's pretty helpful. But once we get started, we're going to remove this tailgate hinge first and get that kind of pulled out of the way. Um, we're going to put the panel on underneath that, so we need to get that moved first. Next thing to do is just take your time lining everything up, getting the panel uh, laid out exactly where you want it. I just used some duct tape I had laying around for this. And keep in mind the holes for the rib nuts are fairly large, so you just want to look at uh, you know that as well because you're really taking up it takes up the entire back of the tailgate you want to get it lined up as precisely as you can and then I put a big strip of tape uh, across the top once I had it in place we're gonna start with the upper left um, hole and uh, I'm using a little center punch here just to uh, get a hole started so that the drill won't walk on me now, if you've never installed anything with rib nuts before, this is probably the most intimidating part of this install. I think it's worth the extra effort, though, to learn how to use the rib nuts or find somebody who can do this for you if you're not comfortable doing it yourself. It takes a 13 30 second hole, which is pretty large. And rather than showing you on the tailgate, because it's kind of hard to show you, I'm going to show you how to do rib nuts right here just on this piece of aluminum stock. So. Um, start out uh, the same way I would on the tailgate, a uh, little center punch to start a hole there. And uh, then I'm going to drill using this step drill. And that's probably the easiest way to get to the right size. But the challenge there is make sure that your uh, drill bit isn't too long that it's actually going to go through the other side of the tailgate. You can also size it out with a standard drill bit. Just make sure it's a high speed bit uh, so it doesn't uh, you know, screw in on you accidentally. So the rib nut's gonna fit in there. And if you make the hole too big, you can use a washer like this uh, if that becomes a problem. Um, but normally it's gonna fit right in and then you're gonna use this little tool. Basically, it's, uh, it's a great little DIY tool for rib nuts, but it's the bolt and then um, that oversized nut and then a washer. And basically what you're gonna do is as you tighten that down, it's gonna crimp up and compress that rib nut. Now I'm using wrenches here just to make it easier for you to see but when I do this on the Jeep I actually use a socket instead of a wrench. But um, you're just gonna tighten this down and as you do try and keep the rib nut pressed flush against whatever surface you're mounting to. And you can see how it's starting to expand in that hole and that's how this is designed to work. So once it expands, um, it'll lock into place and you'll feel it get tight. Then you can unscrew that bolt and that whole tool assembly will just come out and you basically have the rib nut in place in the sheet metal. This is the same process used for mounting lots of uh, body armor and you know things like that. But you can see how that rib nut expands on the backside, grabs into the metal and then holds it in place. And then for the installation, you're going to use a washer and then the little bolt that comes with it. And it's going to screw right in like it was meant to be. And that is how you're going to rib nut the tailgate panel to the tailgate. All right, so I'm using a step bit as I showed uh, on the tailgate. I'm not going to show you the rib nut process of all eight of these holes. Now, once you drill your hole, it's a good idea to put some touch-up paint. Uh, I don't have any anvil paint, so clear nail polish works just fine. And uh, just like I showed you before, it's the same exact process. And we're going to install this first top left corner of the panel. This is going to be where everything else is based off of. 
And then now uh, we're going to go ahead and stretch the tailgate panel um, so that whenever we drill the next hole, it's going to be tight, right? So if you don't stretch it, uh, then uh, then you might get some slack in there. So so pull on it, get it stretched out uh, nice and tight before you uh, punch that next hole. Getting that stretched tight will go a long ways towards having a very secure and stable panel uh, when your install is complete. You want just a little bit of tension on it um, as you tighten it down. All right, so next one will be the bottom right corner. And after a few rib nuts, you get pretty good at it. And don't forget that little washer. And then, of course, the last one will be the bottom left panel of the corners. Remember, stretch it tight. And I just tuck the uh, panel up so that I can work. All right, and once you get those four corners done, the other four uh, inside holes can just be punched where they are. They pretty much are lined up as good as they're going to be at this point. And then, uh, then I go ahead and pull off the panel and put those last four in. And here it is with all eight bolts in. All right, now we're gonna work on putting this hinge on. And basically what we have to do is poke a couple of holes in the panel so that we can reaffix the hinge. The instructions talk about heating up an awl. I decided to use a soldering iron. I have several old soldering irons laying around. So that's gonna heat up and melt through that material and uh, create a hole and also sort of singe uh, the edges so that they, uh, you know, you don't have any any problems with that running later. So just get your holes there and then put the hinge back on over the panel. And there we go. I mean, that's it. Now some people might wonder why not just build the panel to cut around it or, you know, for whatever reason, leave this area clean. But my thought is, that's yet another securing point that's going to keep this panel firmly attached to the tailgate. So, um, at any rate, that's it. Uh, fully installed. I left the black uh, cover here, and you know your wiring goes right through, not a problem. And then you have all of these PALS compatible Molly straps. So uh, next we put gear on. All right. So I'm going to take this. Um, first aid kit and rip it off the back panel and this will allow me to show you basically how we're going to install this to this. So the way this works, the panel system, it's one inch nylon webbing, one inch uh, apart from each other with one and a half inch spacing um, for the the rows and the ladder. And you have this the same thing on the back. Anything that's Molly or PALS compatible is going to have this same structure. And basically what you're going to do is weave it together um, so that it becomes <laughs> almost as if it's one item, right? So first thing we're going to do is slip these through the top. Now, here's what a lot of people do wrong, I think. So I think what a lot of people do is slide these all the way down like that and then just snap it. And while that will hold, um, it's not going to prevent your gear from sagging over time. Uh, so let me show you how to do it properly. Back to the top. So you're basically going to feed it to the top. And then from there, feed it back through the first layer on the, uh, on the pouch. And then from there, back down 
through the next layer. And basically what you're doing is weaving this together, kind of like one of those old lawn chairs, if you've seen one of those. It gets harder and harder as you go, but makes for a very secure attachment. Once I've got it completely weaved, then the final attachment is the snap at the end. There. Now there's no room for sagging at all. It's actually woven together. I mean, that is solid. And then the way this works is, you have your first aid kit. It'll just affix right there. You've got this strap to secure it. And then uh, if for some unfortunate reason you needed this kit in a hurry, you just undo that, rip it off, and then take your kit with you. So quick follow up on the tailgate panel from Justice Off-Road. This has now been trail tested. I did go out to Roush Creek, uh, fully loaded. This is the gear uh, setup that I have right now. And I'll tell you, uh, it's held up fine. There is a lot of weight. I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, there's a lot of weight in this particular pouch here, which is fascinating uh, how well it holds. Uh, but further reinforces the need for having a secure mounting system to hold that whole panel in place. So in this, I've got my gloves, I've got a couple of uh, heavy duty worn D-ring shackles, I've got a fairly significant snatch block here, and I've got just some random uh, link. But this is heavy, I don't know, maybe, I'm not good at this, 15 pounds, 10 pounds, I don't know any rate, this bag is fantastic at keeping it cinched tight to the tailgate, but it doesn't move. Uh, I showed you the first aid kit um, before, so that's still awesome. In this bag here, I've got Man, all kinds of stuff. I've uh, got my flash cowl, my tire gauge, my winch control, both uh, my winch remote. I've got my tire deflators in here. That's about it. So that bag works great for holding all that gear. It's a tight fit. Uh, I usually have these guys laying around. Matter of fact, here's two more of them. I use them for, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. This bag here has my uh, tree strap in it, which is actually a gas mask bag, uh, but works great for this. You know, lightweight stuff. But anyway, um, it's holding up nice. And really complements the uh, the bar tack. Uh, I got bar tack seat covers back here. So I've got gear back here. I've got another bag here. This is another gas mask bag. Uh, in this I have um, a hood and a, a rain jacket in case I get stuck out in the elements. So anyway, that's it. I just wanted to give you a quick update on how things are going with the tailgate panel.